What's up people welcome back to Internet. Today we are having a chat with Harnoor. Harnoor is studying Masters of Computing and Innovation in University of Adelaide. He'll be starting his third semester this month and he has managed to get part-time job in his field while being an international student. So in this video, we are discussing how is University of Adelaide, how is Adelaide, how to get part-time job in your field or part-time job in general and if you are planning to come to Adelaide or Australia in general and you want to know how is life in University of Adelaide, this video is just for you. So check it out. Thank you so much for doing this and showing the campus. We absolutely love the campus. But My let's pleasure. start from starting. So, um, when you were researching from India to come to Australia, did you research for a city or university? How did you decide that you wanted to come to University of Adelaide? So I did uh, started my research with the university first. Okay. So apart from this university, I was considering other options as well, like yeah. uh, University of Western Australia, which is in Perth, University yeah. of uh, Melbourne, which is in Melbourne, yeah. uh, University of New South Wales, which is in Sydney, yeah. and the University of Adelaide in okay. Adelaide. So I went ahead with this university because of a number of reasons. Mm. Uh, the first one would be uh, the scholarship that I was getting. I was getting 15% of scholarship on the basis of my bachelor's results. Okay. Uh, and uh, Apart from that, uh, this university is a part of the group 8 universities right. uh, in Australia and they are having a very good reputation in the computer science department. Okay. Um, and in addition to that, the cost of living in Adelaide uh, is much cheaper as compared to the big cities like Sydney and Melbourne. So Absolutely. yeah, so yeah. these were the main reasons that I okay. went ahead with the university and hence Adelaide. Right, so you yeah. had decided your university that you want to go to University of Adelaide and that's why you didn't have to like much think about like whether I want to go to Perth or yeah. like Melbourne, Sydney or Adelaide. So yeah. you came to Adelaide, right? Uh, now a lot of people have misconceptions about Adelaide. It's like it's a regional yeah. town, you know, like. Yeah. So what did you think of Adelaide? before coming here and why specifically apart from this university the things that you considered for choosing Adelaide uh, yeah so it's like uh, the big thing for uh, the big point for the Adelaide I must say that is cost of living the cost yeah. of living here is much much cheaper as compared to the big cities like Fair Sydney enough. and Melbourne yeah. uh, and apart from that yes uh, even I am coming from Mumbai so yeah. I was having that perception that the Adelaide is not yeah. a developed city yeah. but that's actually a myth which got bursted when I landed here uh, <laughs> okay. back in July 2019 okay so uh, Adelaide has everything you name everything good quality of gyms Absolutely, clubs yeah. bars parks yeah. uh, transportation system so I don't uh, think uh, that Adelaide is underdeveloped in any sense okay uh, yeah so and apart from like this being a major city did you consider any other points like was PR points was one of the things that you wanted to consider or like three years um, extended temporary residency was did you think of those things yeah so uh, to be honest like I'm not a registered migration agent but yeah. yes uh, like if you are coming to the Adelaide yeah. obviously you have more chances or more options towards uh, towards your PR okay so I'm not 100% sure that I need a PR but yeah, yeah uh, this is a big point for Adelaide yeah. that you can uh, get three years of a post work visa okay. and five points I guess and if you want yeah, a permanent yeah, exactly. Awesome man, that's yeah. great. You have been here for a one year now, right? So can you tell us a little about lifestyle here and how do you like it as an international student in University of Adelaide? So the lifestyle here uh, at University of Adelaide is quite cool. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so that might raise some eyebrows, but it's actually true. Okay. So the biggest advantage of this university is its location. Right. So the uh, biggest mall in the Adelaide is the Rundle Mall, which is right. like only 100 meters away from the university. Okay. So there are many other uh, different hotspots of the Adelaide city, which are just few meters away from the university. So definitely right. you're not studying in the regional area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, like uh, like any other university we have a lot of clubs uh, right. here at the university yeah. um, we have a bar in the university where you can just hang okay. out with the friends yeah. uh, just go for a couple of beers yeah. and we have good quality of gym inside the university I so, think that's, that's yeah. really important for like any international student if if we want to make the most of our university life then we should get involved in whatever interests that you have uh, all the universities would have clubs for that for example even if you're interested in like online gaming there would be a club for yeah. online gaming and they would be like you know all the people who who are gamers they would get together and 
do online gaming and stuff like that. So that's really exciting. I'm also serving as an education officer here at the University of Adelaide. Okay. So yeah, so even that uh, that opportunity uh, like helps me a lot in order to interact with different people from different nationalities and right. ethnicities, and you meet a lot of friends which you can hang out at night uh, yeah. at night in the uni bar or you yeah. just go to the London Mall. Yeah. And yeah, so awesome. I yeah. yeah so. It seems like you're having a good time in the university. Right? Yeah, a pretty good time. That yeah. is amazing. When we did the video of Melbourne vs Adelaide with Hernur last month, we had received hundreds of questions of how did Hernur get a part-time job in IT. Before we get into that question, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And if you want any specific video about specific universities or specific course, write it in the comment section so that we can make a list of all the videos that you want. Getting back to the main question is man it's not easy to get a part-time job especially it is not easy at all to get a part-time job in your field so how did you get a an it job in one month of being in the country so actually my job had started four months before i landed into australia okay uh, yeah so i started to look out for the job opportunities on linkedin right. and i searched out for the people working in those organization and i sent them the connection request okay so uh, then i started uh, a chat with them uh, yeah. i told them about my pers- uh, working experience in it yeah. and basically i s- uh, sold myself uh, in the chat cool. and then yeah. uh, uh i asked for the opportunity yeah. uh like not m- many of those conversation actually converted to the interview letters but yeah. they turned out to be a very fantastic learning experience for me absolutely uh, uh I, i reached out to i guess almost 30 to 40 people but yeah. i was able to secure just one interview offer which is great yes yeah, so yeah. uh When I landed in Australia, my interview was in the second week. Okay. Uh, it all went well, uh, but uh, yes, they, uh, they were not comfortable with my university timetable, so okay. uh, that didn't convert in an offer. Yeah. So uh, then I went into a lot of meetups, uh, right. meet different people from different yeah. industries, okay. ask them for the business cards, search okay. them on LinkedIn, and had a follow-up sessions like catch up over coffee or something. Fair enough. Yeah. So uh, that is how I landed into my second interview. Yeah. Uh, which was, I guess. in the same week but again my university timetable was a hurdle wow. so yeah again i didn't get the job but okay so at this point of time so bef- why you are um, in india not here as an international student you add people on linkedin and these people are the people who have advertised for jobs in adelaide is that correct yeah exactly okay so you add them you send them a message introducing yourself to yeah. the interview card and then he uh, he built a relations with them and asked if if he was a suitable person for the opportunity yeah. right and after you came here you started networking and attending meetups and meeting the professionals yeah. who are in this field yeah which is really awesome yeah, yeah. so i i really want to add one point over yeah. there like a uh, while sending a connection request we have to be very careful that you okay. send the connection request to the technical leadership of the company and uh, so that you can actually bypass the hr layer okay. uh, yes because uh, if you go through the hr layer because you are a student so you will be rejected as soon as possible <laughs> yes so, yeah that uh, is that is a really good uh, point yeah so uh, after my second interview like uh, it didn't materialize into an offer yeah. uh, uh, then again i went to a lot of meetups and uh, uh, finally i got my third interview and it did convert into an offer Wow. That is how I landed. So that was your part, first part-time job yeah, here in Adelaide. one month yeah. of coming here as an international yeah. student. That is so exciting, man! Yeah. Absolutely love the hustle that you have done. Now you are in your third semester, one year away from graduation. So what is your priority right now, and how are you planning to get your full-time job? So yes, yeah, so I am applying for the summer internships in different companies. Uh, so I believe that if I prove myself. worth to the company uh, in the in those three months it would be really easy for me in order to convert that internship into an offer Absolutely. so right now yes i'm looking for uh, internships in different companies yes. that is that is probably the best way that any third semester student should think i i i 100% agree with you we want your suggestions for the students who are planning to study it in australia or those who are looking for jobs in it and they are international students in australia so what would be your suggestions for them 
yeah so one of my biggest suggestion for the students who are planning to come to australia for studies is like do your university research well because that actually uh, changes a lot of things here in australia and for the other people like who are uh, uh, finding job uh, part time jobs here in australia i would like to suggest that uh, i have found that a lot of people uh, just settle for the first part time job they, that they have got and they do not hustle for finding the jobs in their own uh, in, uh, in their own field so yes if i would have got a job uh, in the hospitality industry i would have definitely accepted it but at uh, there would be a thing in the back of my mind that to get a job in my field because that hospitality job is obviously not going to help me to get a full time job so i would like to say that nothing is going to come easy you have to hustle you have to find an alternative never settle for less hustle for more amazing dude thank you so much i hope you guys loved the insights that harnoor had to give if you haven't hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you haven't hit the like button hit the like button and share this video with everybody who you know is studying in it or looking for part time jobs in it see you in the next video